friends. How are you all tonight? My name is Tammy Neff and you are on my page called Tammy Loves and I'm so happy to see you here. I have been working on a few Chalk Couture projects. Um, as you know, there was a big launch earlier uh, this month. I believe it was on the 4th and I'm still waiting on my shipment and I'm watching all of my friends who have gotten theirs or who went to the convention using all of their um, good morning or good morning. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Oh my gosh. What time of day is it? It's dark out. <laughs> uh, watching all of my friends making things with all of the new ones and, and I was kind of bummed that I didn't have mine yet and didn't get to show all of my friends. And so I thought, you know what though? There are so many that I got that I haven't even had time to do. So quit worrying about it and make some signs. So I went, um, I went in and started working and I made this one a little bit ago. It says family, love it. And then it's like the dictionary um, explanation of your family, a group of people who genuinely love, trust, and care, out, uh, care about each other, look out for each other. A real family bond cannot be broken by any means. Oh, I love that. Okay, so I made that came out perfectly and then I made this one as well so they kind of go side by side this one says home and it has the definition uh, a place where you can rest your head and your heart and everything feels safe the place where the people you care about live where you are not alone so I made those two um, I will be taking those to the shop for sale um, they're $19.99 you guys can get online and buy this, um, I should have put my link. I didn't think about it. Let me, oh golly, I always hate to make people wait for this, but um, just in case you're interested and you don't want to come into the shop or you'd like to try to make it yourself, Tammy loves, not that, Tammy loves, back, back, C-H. There you go. She loves chalk. <laughs> So there's the link. Um, if you'd like to, you can go on these signs are 15 or $19.99 retail. If you join, you get 40% off of that. But then you just by the transfer, you would need to get paste, like a jar of paste in any color that you want, and then order a squeegee. That's all you need. A squeegee, a jar of paste, the transfer you wanted to say, and they have all of the sizes. And if you go online, it's like a catalog, and like it, they have finished products um, to give you the uh, um, what it would look like. Hi Kim, um, give you an idea of what they would look like finished, or inspire you on how you can make them. But the main sign that I wanted to do, and I thought, gosh, I would love to do this. Um, well, in person, kind of in person. You're kind of in person. My chandelier is in the way. Let me pull my table out. Oh. I need a big table. Okay, I'm in my dining room. My dining room has become my craft room and, and I like it that way. <laughs> it's, you know, I never used the room. And so I'm crafting in the basement with no windows and it was just dark and dreary. I had no reception down there. And so I found that I never went down and did anything. And so little by little, I'd bring things up. And then finally I said, I'm just doing it in the dining room. And my husband was like, well, I don't care. I'd like to see you use the room. He hates the dining room. So he thinks it's a waste of space. So now I'm using it and it's not a waste of space anymore. And everybody's happy. <laughs> so that's always big. Um, so what I want to show you, I'm trying to get this all set up. So you guys, and rather than me trying to hold it up here, um, I'm just going to tip you down and I think I have it turned so you can, um, see it right side up. But this, so this was out for Thanksgiving, you guys, out for Thanksgiving, and I have not changed it yet. I'm going to scratch that up for sure. Um, but anyway, it says, gather here with thankful hearts. And I have had this literally out since Thanksgiving. Oh, well, of course, I have my pretty eraser that I make. You guys know I make these erasers to hang and decorate your chalkboards with. Um, so let me... Uh, show you how easy it is to get rid of this. Oh, I wanted to show you first though. See how it doesn't wipe off. Like you can't wipe it off. You have to really break it down there. Now it's starting to go. But I just want to show you the whole ideal of this company is that, you know, rather than storing a sign, like I have my door hangers, you know, for my front door and I have so many of them um, and they're all stacked and hanging in the basement and I change them out all the time. Well, um, 
the idea was that you don't have to put your chalkboards away, you just redo them. And they're so easy and they're always turn out perfectly. So that's the idea. So you can see it takes a little bit to get them off. It's not like chalk, but it is chalk paste. So it dries hard and you can't wipe it off. It takes, it. you can see it takes just a little bit of elbow grease, but it's definitely um, easy to get off when you're drying. But if you don't want the kids, like, you know, a typical chalkboard, you don't want the kids to touch and mess up. You spend an hour and a half making it or more. And um, you really don't want anyone to brush up against it. Um, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. And then when you're all done, you just erase it like this and make another one. I should have had a wet rag. I didn't have a wet rag, so I'm kind of drowning it here. Okay. Now... This board is a chalk couture board. They have not had these boards in the, um, in the catalog for a while. So I wish they did. They were expensive, but they're so beautiful. All right, so I see a little bit of, of um, ghosting on here, they call it, when you leave a transfer on for a while. So they have these wipes that are like, um, like a magic eraser but they're better. They have um, little scrubbies, not sure you can see, but they have like little scrubbies on them and they um, take that away. I, I, sometimes the magic erasers work, but not always. So that's the trick. There you go. Now, if you buy your frames uh, other than from Chuck Couture, it's not always guaranteed that that's gonna take it away. Um, but it sure is worth a shot. Okay, so I'm gonna get this nice and dry. Okay, and then I have my transfer all picked out that I wanna do. Now they call them a transfer, it's still drying. They call it a transfer instead of a stencil because a stencil is, you can stick your finger through all of the openings. This is more of a screen, um, a silk screen actually. Um, so I'll show you here when I get this open. This one's brand new. I haven't used it yet. Oh, and I should have got a pair of scissors too. Hang on, let me grab a pair of scissors real quick. Okay, because see, they've got this cute little stripe here and I'm gonna use that as well. So these, if they happen to be um, several parts, they'll be cut lines for you. See that little white line right there? That's where you cut, just like this. And this is how you can use, like you could use this stripe on any, with any of the other configurations that you wanted to. So they're all kind of a mix and match, it's just your own creativity. It's just your own ideas and however you want to do it. I may not even put that stripe on there. It kind of makes it um, maybe farmhousey or something. And that's fine, I love farmhouse, but I don't know if my frame's too fancy for it. What do you think? I can't see your comments. So, I don't know though, it gives it, I'll do it last. We'll see if it needs it. I can always wash it off, I guess. Okay, so this says, this house has endless laughter, love, and laundry. So I'm gonna put this by the um, front door. Well, not the front door, my garage door. So, I've got it upside down. Now it's sticky, see, it's sticky. And see where the, um, like I can't stick my finger through. See, it's, see, here's my hand over here, but when I put it back here, you can't see this, my skin is easily because there's a screen. And then inside of the screen, like see floating right there in the H, it, it, that's what makes your font unique. Like you can't do stuff like that with a real stencil. Okay, that's what makes this a transfer. It's sticking to the screen and that's what makes it look all, um, all weathered and choppy and all of that. So now all I'm doing is because this is brand new, it is like crazy sticky, like crazy sticky. And that they do that on purpose so that it will stick to your projects. The problem is sometimes it sticks too good to the projects and it stretches your transfer when you're trying to get your transfer off of your project, okay? So I'm still pretty sticky. I always fuzz them on the first uh, try and sometimes even more. I got a really big piece of fuzz there, I'm gonna leave it. So 
um, that's what that's what I'm doing and that's why I'm doing it. You can put it on your carpet, you can put it on your shirt. I have a cotton blouse on so I don't think it would probably do very good fuzzing. So that's why I use the rag. They have a fuzzing cloth that they came out with, but they are not in stock yet. That was one of the items that didn't make it for the opening, for the, um, the new product launch on the 4th. So then I'm just using this um, angled squeegee. It's a great little tool to, for getting into the, the small little nooks and crannies. Some of these are really intricate. This one isn't, this one's just nice and big and this one will be easy. So I'm just kind of ironing it down and making sure that I don't have any bubbles, okay? All right, and you can just, you can do that with your fingers as well, but that just really gets it down there good. All right, and I'm just gonna use white again. I really like, I really like the white and black. I like just your typical chalkboard. That's why I'm kind of boring. I watch all these people do all of these awesome colors and, and I do it too, but, but mostly I just like them um, just, white <laughs> just plain old white on black that's my favorite way now if you have a paste um, and you've had it for a while and it might start to dry um, you're supposed to keep your edges really clean I learned that the hard way my friend Angela was over here and she gave me the what is because my paste were all drying up really really bad which all you have to do is put water in and do lots of stirring and usually for the most part you can bring them back but anyway, my pace were drying up and getting ruined and it was just a real waste. So she went and cleaned all of my jars for me. Now, how's that for a friend? And <laughs> I had to promise that I would never put a lid on a jar without wiping it down because let me just show you, I'm just wiping off just that little bit of stirring and look how much paste. And that's what keeps your seal from sealing. So always, always wipe the edge of your jar and it will just save your paste from drying out, okay? All right. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit lumpy from being dried out, but I think I should be okay. So here we go. I'm just going to plop it down here. And I've kind of learned to just pull it as I go. So, and what I mean by that is, I just want you guys to see how fast this makes. Um, gosh, it's so fast, there's no way that's gonna dry out on me. A lot of times we worry about our design drying out before we pull it off. Everybody's all intricate and worried and going kind of slow. And really the idea is to get her going and get it off there. So what I meant by pull it as I go is to pull up so that it doesn't dry. If it dries, it will stick to my screen, to the screen on the silk screen and it won't do as nice of a job. And so this is all covered. So as I pull, if I see anything that I've missed, I can just stop, lay it back down and fix it. But I did not miss anything. And there you go. It's all done. I'll take this to the sink. I'll wash it with just water and a little brush a soft brush, um, just like a dish brush, and it will be ready to use again and again and again. You can use them several times. I've only, I've been doing this a year and a half and I've only thrown out two so far. So if that tells you anything at all, um, they last a long, long time. Now, of course I don't use them over and over mass producing anything. It's just for me. I do make them for the store, but they really do last. I'm not just saying that. And so here's the finished sign. That was fast, right? It's so fast and it's perfect. So it's great. It's not like when you do stenciling um, and you have to go back and fix all of the little bleeds and things. You guys that have taken classes in the past where we've had to use stencils, you know what I'm talking about. And um, you guys, let me stick out my pants here. You guys um, that do the Cricut machines and the Silhouette machines know that it takes you hours sometimes to get your design laid out. And then, um, you know, you've got to print it, hope it prints right, hope you had it sized right. And then you've got to weed out all of your letters and then you have to put on the vinyl. It's, it's, just, it's just a bigger deal, this is very easy. Now, yes, the Cricut's great when I have someone that wants a custom something, I still do that. Uh, my friend Lisa Hilton, she does my, um, things like that for me. I bought a Cricut machine from my friend Beth Durant uh, oh, a little over a year ago and Lisa wanted to, whoops, I opened the wrong, oh well, white's white, doesn't matter. Um, Lisa wanted to 
mess around with it. And I told her, you figure it out. It's a big, it's a lot to do. So I just cut my finger, sorry. Um, so anyway, Lisa did that and she likes doing it. So she makes them for me. So that's really, that's the best of both worlds, isn't it? Okay, so here it is with the stripe. And if I'm really quick, I might be able to get a second stripe out of this. I don't know, we'll see. That's sometimes pushing it with this stuff. <coughs> Oftentimes you have to wash it. So we'll see here. If I was fast enough, I'll be okay. If not, I'll just wash it off. Oh, it's just fine. So there you go, I got both stripes without washing in between and all I have to do is take it and wash that in the sink and then it will be done and I can put it away so there you go I made a sign tonight with you guys let's see how can I get it <laughs> I have to tip it up a little bit oh man but you want to see it you watch me do all that and here it is all done I think I like the lines I'm just fine oh thank you Thanks for the, the hearts and the thumbs up. Yeah, I think I like it just like that. So there you go. I'm going to hang this in my entry. And yes, it's only been since Thanksgiving since I changed my sign. I've been going to do it every day. I walk in the door. I'm like, gee, I need to change that sign. And then I get in the house and I'm off to do other things. And then I don't see that sign until I come in again. So, <laughs> you know, it just, I don't know. It just never gets done. So I'm gonna do this other big one. I wanna take this one to the shop. I have it in the shop in a, on a pallet board, but I think I'm gonna do it on a really nice chalkboard. These chalkboards are from Chalk Couture and they have a hanger on the top as well as the side here. So you can hang it vertically or horizontally and do your, your design however you'd like to lay it out or any design. But I love this particular one, farm to table and table to sole. So, I need to get this back in inventory over there. I love having these finished signs for you guys to come in. Hi, Kathy. I got my phone tipped up. Now I can see. I can see you. Glad you caught me. You've been doing some chalking, haven't you? Okay, let me move that aside. You love the frames? Good. Thank you. I love them too. They're so nice, they're just so nice. And I'm so proud and happy that Chalk Couture got out some nice signs for us um, that we don't have to go buy them at Hobby Lobby. You know, they've gotten some better pricing now. And, oh shoot, I got into the chalk paste somewhere. Um, they don't, they, um, they're just, they've just really come to the market now. They were very, very expensive, but they were very beautiful. And we just found that people would rather have affordable frames that they can um, buy instead of the more expensive ones. So they've really um, got their pricing down on their signs, which is nice. I like to be able to buy my sign, like buy it all from them um, instead of having you guys run all over town. Like, oh, you gotta go here to get this and go there to get that and all that. I like it, just go to the website there in the comments and they'll have everything you need. Oh, for Pete's sake, good thing this isn't brand new. This is a big one. Sometimes the big ones are hard to do by yourself. I have done this one several times, probably six or seven times. So it's not as sticky, but it's still as sticky as I need it to be for this project. So not, you can hear it, you can see it's still sticky. So I need to get it um, laid out. And this is where two people are nice. When it's just brand new, it's really, really sticky, so it's a little harder to get, but you guys have seen me do it before on here by myself with even bigger ones than this, so it's possible. Okay. Boy, this just fits this. This is where, if you do wanna go order this sign and the transfer and everything, you'll really wanna pay attention to the sizing on your frames and stuff so that you get the right frame for your project. That would stink if you got this great big transfer and you ordered a little sign by mistake and you thought that was gonna be right. That would really stink. There, I think I got it now. Now I just have to make sure I have it smooth. I hope you guys, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I'm hoping you don't remember and be like, why is she doing that one again when there's so many? But it's such a good one. Okay. 
And again, I think when I've done it before though, I've done like the bowl in a color and the rooster in a color. I've done them all different ways. We've done um, farm, uh, farm table in one color, table sole in another. We've done farm table down here in one. Like the and has been a different color. You can just do it however you want. It's just, that's the fun part about it. You can have five girlfriends come over and want to make the same sign and you all buy five chalkboards, one transfer, one paste, one squeegee, and you divide it all up and everybody's sign will look different if, unless you all do it white, of course, but they'll all look different even though you're using the exact same things. We did a class the other night at the um, Zanesville Country Club and everybody's signs, we all use the same transfers. Um, I think three of them chose something else, but... Um, like 20 ladies and they were all different and it was oh shoot you guys can't even see oh man I'm sorry come back that come down here I'm so sorry you've been watching my shirt this whole time there you go <laughs> I've already got it down oh darn it I'm sorry you guys oh I'm sorry about that and I, I'm not reading I'm, I'm not able to read the comments so I've got this pretty down um, like I said, you can see that it's been stained from me using it before. Looks like it's got a lot of black on it. I must have done it on a white board. I know I did do it on black on that palette board at the shop. And usually a palette board, that's probably what I'm feeling is little pieces of wood every here and again. Um, but it doesn't, it still will work. It'll still work fine. I might have an issue here or there, but for the most part, it's going to be fine. So this time, since it's so big, I'm going to plop down a pretty generous... Um, amount here and then I'm just going to spread it all around so I kind of just almost put the whole jar in here actually and I do not need that much so then they have these bigger squeegees I recommend getting a bigger squeegee for these larger transfers because looky here you just do that and it's done so let me put that back See how slick that is? It is slick. Okay. That's the way to go. I should have all the new people that come to my house to do this to see how it's like. I should have them do a big one like this because this is fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Okay. Now I'm just going this way to get all these ones on the sides. Let's see the one there I missed. Got to get some up here at the top. Okay. So then I put it all back in. That's what you scrape it all back off. Yep, I hear a little bit of crackling, so I don't know. We'll see how it does. And then you just peel it off. Peels off so nice. Yep, did you hear me say I felt a little crackling or heard a little crackling? Okay, it crackled right here, and I'm going to show you what to do if that happens to you. It's always nice when you guys can see, well, what do you do when that happens in your home and you bought all this stuff and what do I do now? I'm going to show you. Don't tackle it wet, okay? And don't panic. I, have, I had some ladies panicking the other night and it was such easy fixes. I'm just laying this out here on the chair so it, um, it can dry and not get all over the place. Okay, so I wish I got my rag wet. Okay, so what I like to do is let this dry. You can use a popsicle stick or a toothpick. I usually just use a toothpick because it's really small. Let me show you what I'm gonna fix. Oh, and here you go. Done, voila, right? That was fast. Okay, right here, my E smudge. Can you see that? Where are you? Yeah, you can see that. Okay, the E and the L smudge. That is the only thing that I see wrong. Maybe a little bit here on the B, just a little bit. And this, again, I use this many, many, many times. So that's why I've had this issue. Um, but I wanna show you how easy it is to fix. And I like to wait until it's dry. See if it's dry. It's almost dry. Can you guys see? Let me, this is so, this is good stuff. This is really good stuff. So let me get in here for you guys to be able to see it. Cause it's so good. Okay, so I'm just going to take my uh, toothpick and just go like that. 
see? And if you would have, you know, gone in there with a rag or something and tried to clean that up, you can't as nicely. You'll have shadows and stuff everywhere. It's just not as clean. But if you wait on it to dry, and I'm really not completely dry, so I'm getting a little bit of shadowing there. But see how easy that is? Now I can't get this at this angle, so I'm gonna lay it sideways, but I want, if you guys can see, now where is it? It's so right here, it's this E. Yep, and you can see, you can see that little smudge. So I'm just going in here, and I'm gonna chip away. Now it looks like, see how it's a little bit thin right there? I might have pushed it, so I'm just gonna reshape that letter a little bit. The other thing I can do, once it's all dry for sure, is line it up and just put some paste right there in that spot. <sighs> but I'm not gonna do that. And then as soon as it's dry, there's a couple of little flakes sticking up, but as soon as it's dry, I'll just rub it with my hand and it will be gone. It will be gone. So the only other spot that I see that has an issue is on this B, just a little tiny bit. I just gotta see how to get at it here. There. There we go. There we go. Done. So this sign will be ready to go to the shop for sale. If you want it or you know someone that wants it, stop by. It's all ready to go. I'll be dropping it off probably tomorrow. All right. Want to see some more? Want to see some more? So you can see it and not be watching my shirt. All right. So these are our shadow. Oh, this knuckle is real. I was going to pull out another box. That's okay. I've got the snuggle is real and be still and know that I am God. Both of those fit. So I've got this one in here. We're just going to go with this one since it's in here. I've used it before. That's why it's a little bit stained. This is not in the new catalog. Well, I don't know. I can't say that. I don't know what's discontinued and what's not. Um, not I, I don't pay attention to all that stuff. Um, I know a lot of these girls, this is all they do is chuck a tour. And that's just not me I've got other things so I'm not always up on all of the latest stuff so I just always buy everything I want so that I have it and I don't have to worry about it getting sold out I don't always buy it all at once but I do get it eventually okay let me wipe the edges of that just in case Angela's watching <laughs> my lid back on. Let me wipe the edges of this little one. I don't know why I opened that one. It works fine too. These little ones are the old pastes. Now they come up with these bigger jars so you can get your squeegees down in there better. And so we like those. But I had so many little jars. I'm still using those up. All right. So I'm just going to do the Snuggle is Real in black. This is how the paste comes brand new. Um, it's sealed and it's, I wish they'd put, make a little pull tab or something. It's always so hard to get open. I usually cut it. Oh, let me see. I have my scissors here. I can cut it. Okay. Yeah, I hate that part. Chocotour, if you're watching, <laughs> could you give us a pull tab, please? <laughs> okay. So let me wipe this off of here. I really, really wish I would have wet the bag. Okay, I need to grab another squeegee. These pink squeegees we got at um, the convention last year. I don't know what they did this year. I didn't go. It was kind of right after Christmas, and a lot of the girls on my team went, and then I, then I started feeling bad because so many friends were going, and I didn't go, and I, oh, I felt bad. But I just couldn't. I didn't want to ask my husband how I could go. <laughs> He doesn't get it. You know, men, they don't get it. He would be like, he just had Christmas. You don't need to do that. Oh, he probably wouldn't have cared. He's probably watching me like, why do you throw me under the bus like that? He probably wouldn't have cared. It was more me being chicken to ask. <laughs> but yes, after I realized everybody was going and all that, it was sold out. And then I mentioned it to him. And it was too late to go anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Oh, well. Oh, well, you can't do everything. All right, while I'm yammering, check that out. How perfect, you guys. It can't be any more easy than that. It can't be any more easy than that. Look at that. 
Did you see that? It took me like a minute. I should, I should set my stopwatch and see. That was fast and easy. So I didn't open up another box for this. So I told, and I'm not doing the really, you know, you can build these things up and make flower, oops, and make like colors and designs. You should see some of the things these ladies in Chocotour are making on their teams. My goodness. It's quite impressive, actually. Quite impressive. Okay. I have a portfolio that I keep all of my transfers in once I've opened. Here's another one. I've used this one, too, but I love this one. And it goes perfectly in here. Now, these boxes are made to stand up. Um, they do not have a hanger on the back in case you go on to order. These do not have a hanger because they're made to be double-sided. And you can do it on both sides. So you can do something on this side, and you can flip it over and do another one over here. And then they just stand up. Like, they just stand. See? Let me see. Oops. <laughs> there you go. They just stand up. You can put them in an easel if you're, you know, a little nervous about it. You can put it in an easel. Let's see. Where's my... I don't know what I did before. Here it is. Okay. So this one says... Today is a good day for a good day. Just turning around here so you guys can see. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Get my squeegee ready. Okay, here we go. I, let's see, can I see? It's 11.51. I'm just taking it back off now. I guess this is kind of nice because I'm showing you used ones. So you can see that you can do them again and again. 11.51. Oh, what the heck? Now it says 1012. <laughs> what the heck did I do? It must not have been 1151. Oh, shoot. Well, we'll do, we'll do it on the next one. <laughs> it couldn't have taken a minute. What the heck is wrong with my watch? <laughs> I must have looked at the wrong numbers. Oh, man. You guys go live and then see how you do. <laughs> it's hard. I'm glad it's not 1151. That would mean it's midnight here. It's actually only... Oh, now where did my, where did my time go? <clears throat> it's only 10, 12. Oh, I see. I was looking at the seconds. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so I think I have just a tiny little bleed. I should wait until it dries. Tiny, tiny. Again, these have been used over and over. I don't know how many times I've done this one. It's just a great one. Now, know that these um, shadow boxes, I think they call them the shadow box, they are... Um, not reusable because it's so thirsty. You would have to put some wax on it and then you would be able to wipe it off easier. So there it is. Done, da, da, done, done, done. All right, I'll do two more. I'm gonna do a little bit of color for you guys just so you're not bored to death with my black and white that I love, love, love. Okay, put the lid on here. Now, this one's really cute. If you're thinking about getting off here, stay on for just a minute. <laughs> Show you this one, it's so cute. All right. So, you do, it's a cactus. And then it says, can't touch this. It's so cute. Okay, so we'll put my little cactus man up here. Well, he's not a man, he's a cactus. <laughs> like Bob Ross and my happy little cactus. He will be, you wait and see what I'm gonna to do to him. Okay, so there's the cactus. <clears throat> and then here's the words. I'm just gonna check, oh yeah, I've got plenty of room. I might drop that down a little bit actually. Okay, I'm gonna turn this for you guys to see in just a second. I wanna get this laid out for myself. Okay, I should check what time. Okay, now it's 10, 14. I'm not looking at the seconds this time. <laughs> okay. All right, now I'm gonna drop my cactus down just a little bit. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit more involved because I'm doing some colors and it's got to have some dry time and I didn't bring my um, hair dryer over here and I'm not gonna go make you guys wait for me to go get it. So, I forget what 
time did I say? 10.14, yeah. Okay, it's been a minute. All right, so here's some green. Let me see what this one's called. Green Envy, that's what I thought. Green Envy. I'm gonna put some Green Envy on here to make my cactus. I'm gonna scrape it back off so that I can see the design. Because you don't wanna waste your paste. All you need is to fill that little thickness of the vinyl and you pull it right off and it's done. And this on the chair to be washed. Okay, there's another squeegee for the pile. Okay, then since it's on a white background, I'll go with the black again. I'm gonna write the word, do the words, can't touch this. Okay. If you guys think you might wanna give this a try, you get involved, you get the kit. It's $99 and you get $240 worth of stuff. And then um, you get 40% off of all of your orders. Okay, now I'm not done, but my cactus is still wet. Hmm. So that took me for six, uh, 16, so it took me two minutes, okay? And that's only because I didn't have my paste out, but that's how long it would take you. You wouldn't have your paste out either. So it so took me two minutes. Now if I had my hair dryer, I would say it would probably take us maybe three minutes because I'm gonna add the little spikes to the cactus and then a little flower on it, uh, a couple little flowers on it. So. We're gonna finish that, but I'm gonna let it push it to the side and let it dry. I don't have to worry about hangers. And I'm gonna do this one. It says cute chip, because it's almost Easter time. So I'm going to do a cute chick for you guys. These both need layered, so I'm thinking if I go back and forth, I should have done this part first instead of the other one, so the stuff could dry that needed to dry. Oh, well. Oh, he looks kind of crooked. Is he supposed to look crooked? He looks like he's standing kind of crooked. Okay, it's because I cut it crooked. Okay. All right, I'm going to do that with him. Oh, come on, little fella. Cooperate with me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna press them down, get all the air out. Okay, I might scoochie these words over just to snap since I have the room. It's to look all crowded there if it doesn't have to. Spread that down. Okay. All right, so here's our cute chick. Now, I thought I would do the chick in the yellow. So I just happen to have me some yellow here. All right. So you just put some paste, put some stuff in. The, you know, I always see people not put very much. I have a big glob on there. Can you tell? I have like, there you go. I have a lot. And I can see some comments coming in, you guys. I will, um, I will answer all of those. Maybe you're just saying hello, but I'll answer your comments here um, when I get off. I'll get off, I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, and then I'm gonna go to bed and I'll answer all your questions there. How about that? <laughs> or I'll sit in a chair or something. I'll do that when I stop. So give me a couple minutes, all right? So there's my cute chick. I'm gonna do his, um, hmm. <laughs> I didn't really think about this. i do his little legs in black, I was gonna do that in the hot pink, but I don't think he wants hot pink legs. So we'll do some black on his little feet and legs. And then he's got this little thing in his hair. Hmm, okay, we'll go for the hot pink. I don't know, I don't know whether to do the hot pink. Let's do the hot pink and the little thing in his hair, or her hair, <laughs> I guess it's not a he. <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> All right. So there's that. Now let's see how our cute chick turned out. Oh, it's like he's got a little hat on. I didn't get his. <laughs> but he is a cute chick, isn't he? She. She. 
It's a she. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the black. The hot pink is just too much and it doesn't really, um, yeah, I, I think it's just too much. I'm gonna do it in black. You guys are probably all saying, hot pink, hot pink. Oh well, I'm gonna do it black. Okay, oops, I don't need the blue ones. Here we go. Dipping it in. What a cute little guy, girl. <laughs> okay, there's our cute chick. Okay, now, there you go. Now, he's not, she's not done, good grief. All right, what time is it? 20 after, it's been six minutes. So let me see, is my cactus dry? Oh, he's still a little bit wet. I know better than that. I'm gonna get the hair dryer, you guys. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna mess it up with you guys watching. It takes like two minutes to, well, not even that long. It just takes a minute to just take the edge off of that because if not, it'll stick to the sticky. You can imagine the wet paint will stick to the transfer and then you'll pull it off and then you have the mess. And it's not as easy to fix these shadow boxes because they're thirsty dry wood and not chuck wood. This is actually wood. See, that's all I needed, just a second. It's still a little bit wet down in there, but I'm pressing pretty hard. Okay, now what did I do? Oh, here it is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I don't think you guys can see this, but let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm laying my transfer over top of the cactus that I've already done. And I'm just trying to line it up, which it's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> ah, that's gonna take me longer. So that's what I'm doing, just so you can see. Two hands is much better. If you've got two hands, it's much better. Now, this would have been better on a black board because of the white outline, but um, these don't, I don't think they come with black. I don't think they do. I think this is it. So, okay. So here we go. I'm just going to press that down. Where's my white? I can't get my white. And just going to go over the green cactus with the white. You'll be able to see it over the green. So you just won't be able to see it around the edges maybe. Maybe you will, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna find out. Okay. Yeah, you really almost can't. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right. Another squeegee. Oops, I should wipe that off. Yep, look at those clumps right there. You guys remember to wipe your jars. I promise you'll thank me. Okay, so now what I need, I need to dry that just a little bit. Let's see, did my chick dry? No, he's still a little bit wet. Okay, let's dry this real fast. Okay, dry. See, I said real fast, not kidding. All right, so now I have the little flowers to put on top of the cactus. So I'm gonna put one here and one here. Wait, maybe I should put the little one on the little leg and the big one on the big part. Okay, so there's that. And there's that. Get my hot pink back out. I need a teeny tiny squeegee. Actually, that's even too big. What did I do with my, well, I don't know what I did with my smoother, but this is a multi-tool. If you guys order and you order several, you know, paste, you would want to order white. I didn't think I would want black, but I'll tell you what, when I started doing this, I use black a lot. So get yourself a white, get yourself a black, 
The multi-tool is for little spots like this, the same as my, oh, here it is. The same as the smoother, the little triangle on the smoother, you could do it with that as well. But this also is good for cleaning out your pots and putting it over into the next, you know, like if you, this one's almost empty, you get every last drop with this little tool. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm just going to put the little flower on here. Right like that. Pull these off. Off. And I don't think I'm going to put one on the other one. I know all you symmetrical people are going to be like, what? There you go. I love it, you guys. I love that. That is so cute. And you know, my daughter just moved to Arizona, so she needs to have that. I'm going to have to send that to her and make a different one for the shop. Um, okay, so now we're down to our little chicky. And she is dry, and so here's what here's what you do with her. Now I'm saying her. Okay, she's got her face line up. So I just laid the eyes and the nose over top where there's no yellow. Okay, I'm gonna make her nose this little bit of orange here. tiny little drop of orange for the nose and then I'm going to do a little tiny uh, black eye and a little tiny black eye oh look she's done what was so cute just got even cuter <laughs> I'm telling you guys this you probably think why would you do this at nine o'clock at night this is so relaxing. It is the most fun thing to do. And you really, I mean, you can mess it up, but you can fix it. And it's just really fun. I can't even tell you, it's just really fun. You just have to trust me. And if you live around here and you wanna give it a try, message me. I have people come over here and we do this all the time. I have tons of boxes of these signs. I have pillow covers. We can play with the inks. You guys, this does this goes on fabric with inks. You can make it permanent. I do t-shirts and pillows all the time. Um, we'll play around with it. I would love to have you come. This room is always set up. All you have to do is tell me when you want to come. And we will mess around and make some really cute, really cute stuff. Okay, so there's that and that. Anybody that might have joined late, here's this one we made tonight. Here's this one we made tonight. I have two that I made without you. Home with the dictionary um, definition and family with the dictionary definition. We made this great big Farm table and table to sole. It's a big one. See how big that is? <laughs> and then we made this one for me, for my house. And it says, this house has endless love, laughter, and laundry. So there we go. We made a pile of projects. So let me put you back up here. All right, and that's all I have. So you guys know that I've been coming on here and telling you about my craft club. I finally have done it. After two years of thinking about it, dreaming about it, talking about it, I finally launched it. So it is on my website, Tammy Loves, T-A-M-I-L-O-V-E-S. And at the very top, hi Marge, at the very top, um, you click Tammy Loves Craft Club. It's $27 a month. We will do one craft that's like super awesome, a really awesome one. And I'm, I promise it will be things that you can get easily and it will be um, convertible. Like I love to use vintage and actually old jewelry and old things, but you can um, find these things at Hobby Lobby. You can find reproduction things all of the time. So, oh, thanks, Kathy. Hi, Liz. Uh, you love the little chick? I do too. They're all adorable. Anyway, um, uh, it'll, it'll all be things that if you, if you don't like the old rusty crusty stuff like me, you can just get the ideas and switch them over. So, um, but we're doing some projects this month. Everything will be still in the group. So it's $27 and there's already 
two projects. We're going to do one on Valentine's Day and then we have another, just another little simple easy one for the first month just to launch it out. And then next month, I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys what we're making. I, I, I don't want to tell you, um, but I can't wait to show you. I can't wait. It's going to be really, really awesome. It involves all outdoor elements, wood, grass, pine needles, um, moss, um, some paper mache, paper mache, um, what else? Grapevine. <laughs> and you'll never figure it out. You might guess and you might get part of it, but there's three different elements that's all going to make one set of something. I can't wait. So that'll be the first week of next month. So if you join now, you can get like what we're doing this month, or if you want to wait, you can sign up at the end of the month and you can get next month's project. It's going to be awesome. And then we'll be in and do a few little things. I've been jumping in for little things here and there. Um, made the cutest paper heart garland. Oh my gosh. And I showed like different kinds of yarns and what they would look like. And, um, you know, told them they could, well, I, you just have to join the club. You just have to join the club. So go to my website, Tammy Loves, and at the top, um, Tammy Loves uh, Chalk Club or Craft Club, Tammy Loves Craft Club, and um, come craft with me. We'll make some really neat things. So it's like Pinterest in person. That's what it is. Pinterest, like you and me doing Pinterest together. Oh my gosh, it's going to be cool. See you there. Thanks for watching tonight, you guys, and I'll go back and look at all of your comments. See you later. Bye.